Dennis, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Wolf. It's, it's a always very good to be with you. Very detailed letter with specific questions, legitimate questions. I'll ask you a few of them. Give us the answer. Is it acceptable? Is it an acceptable op outcome for Gaddafi to remain in power after the military effort concludes in Libya? As, as it relates to the specific question, Wolf, uh, we're not setting out with a policy of regime change here. We set out a very defined uh, goal here, which is we would shape the environment and enable our uh, international partners to take over the no-fly zone. We're on the verge of doing that. Importantly, over the last couple of days... Wait, hold on, hold on, Dennis. I'm sorry for interrupting, but you just said something. You said there's, it's not a policy of regime change. Correct. But, uh, the, how many times has the president said over the past few weeks, Gaddafi must go? Well, I haven't uh, counted, Wolf. Maybe you have, but uh, I, at least it doesn't. Well, I take your word for it, as I always well, do. Well, doesn't that mean regime change if Gaddafi must go? Well, I think you asked. You're kind of uh, asking a couple different questions now, Wolf. You asked whether it was an acceptable outcome, and what we've said is we've set out a very specific goal for uh, our forces, an accomplishable uh, task. Which, uh, incidentally, because of their great performances, uh, our Marines, our sailors, our airmen, our soldiers, because of their great efforts, we have turned back uh, the forces from Benghazi, and we are on the verge now of being able to hand over the conduct of the no-fly zone to our allies. But must Gaddafi go? Well, that's going to be a, de a determination for the Libyan people to make. But the president uh, well, says he must go. Well, the pre you know, I'm not going to improve on that good answer that the president gave on this question yesterday, which I know you uh, watched and uh, which was obviously a part of his uh, press conference Is yesterday. that U.S. policy still that Gaddafi must go? Well, the president did outline exactly what our, our policy view he is. Said which that is was, that, he said Gaddafi must go. Yeah, and uh, I, he explained to you yesterday, and I'm explaining to you again today, that the mission we've set out, uh, as it relates to this effort uh, over the last several days has been to shape the environment to be able to bring along the international allies so that it's not just our troops and not just our taxpayers who are carrying out these uh, efforts and uh, investing their resources but rather the whole world because frankly this isn't solely our problem wolf this is a problem for the world and so we're bringing along the arab league we're bringing along so the u.n I, I we're just, bringing along our european allies i, I don't want to i don't want to be a pest uh, but if the policy is that Gaddafi must go, I assume that means regime change, but you just said the policy was not regime change. I think, yeah, I think I was responding to the question that you asked from the letter from the speaker, which I indicated was another good opportunity to continue the conversation with him. So, and as it relates to whether it's an acceptable outcome, the question is, we're not pursuing regime change as a result of this military effort. That's, uh, that's been quite clear since the president addressed it with the American people But on you are Friday. pursuing regime change separate from the military effort, is that correct? Well, we're going to bring a whole range of uh, assets and, and efforts and resources to this. Who's paying for all of this? Will, will you ask Congress, Boehner wants to know, if you'll ask for a supplemental budget request to pay the hundreds of millions of dollars that U.S. taxpayers have already spent? Who's going to pay for this? Boy, I'm not sure where you're getting the number hundreds of millions of dollars, Wolf. I think that's an exaggeration. Well, each but, Tomahawk, uh, you know how much a Tomahawk cruise missile costs? Well, I, again, I, if you can just give me a sense of where you're getting that's the hundreds of millions of dollars. That's 160 Tomahawk cruise missiles at 1.4 million uh, each so, Tomahawk cruise missile, that's already $160 million. So the, the bottom line is, as I think we've indicated, that is that uh, we're obviously able to carry this out in the context of the existing Pentagon budget. Uh, we'll continue to work with that. And again, as it relates to the Speaker's letter, it's obviously, as you said, a very, a very legitimate set of questions, and we think it's a good opportunity to continue the conversation with Congress. The bottom line in the President's view on this is it's important to bring the country along. Obviously, the President...